Hello, YouTubers, friends, compatriots. Look at yourselves, Dustlight, Hearts, Peasants, Vassals, Minions, Meesacks. I'm Useful Idiot. Welcome. And uh, I'm going to do a, a three or four, maybe five part series on the police. Uh, obviously, the police have been in the news quite a bit lately as a result of uh, police brutality and then in this ridiculous behavior by the New York City Police Department uh, blackmailing a city and, uh, and other uh, associated behavior aberrant behavior of uh, the police of New York. But anyway, that's uh, something I'll get into later. Right now, I want to uh, dive into this this video about uh, the police, and that's the police and uh, weight, and as well as police and uh, the, the supposed danger of their job. And uh, so let's start with the first one. Uh, I was, I'm sure I'm like most people out there. You watch all these videos with all these police, and you go, Jesus Christ, look at those fat fucks. And, uh, well, it's actually not a, a, a coincidence or um, a surprise, as it turns out, that uh, when you uh, see these police, you see a lot of fat fucks. And the reason why is because the police and the security guards are uh, one of the more obese uh, occupations in the United States. And this is according to the American Journal of Preventive Medicine. And... Uh, Interestingly enough, the first group of uh, workers who are the most obese in America are security guards, police, and firefighters. And, uh, and then the second uh, largest group of obese workers in America is social workers, clergy, and counselors. And uh, interestingly, um, probably the most interesting is the slimmest workers are economists, scientists, and psychologists. So, of course, all these brainiacs. Uh, only 14% in that group are, are obese. But amongst police, 41% are technically obese. So, uh, uh, direct correlation to the fat fucks that we see in the field. And um, in the general U.S. population of workers, we have a 27% uh, obesity rate. So, the police have an uh, almost uh, twice. Um, I know that's stretching it, but uh, but still a, a substantial, say 30 percent above um, the national average. So uh, police are uh, abnormally uh, obese and disproportionately, so to speak, obese uh, per their occupation. Um, and uh, interestingly enough, as well, tw uh, in 2014, the weight loss industry was a 60 billion dollar industry so that that's obviously going to have to be a topic for another day so uh, so here we have another part of the police u.s police mythology this idea that they're out there uh, working hard every day and um it uh this kind of dispels that myth uh, and, and unfortunately in, in, uh, increases the mythology that police uh, spend too much time in donut shops and uh and uh, but this also explains uh, one of the reasons why uh, they have to shoot so many citizens because they're just too fucking fat to chase them anymore. So uh, that uh, we'll have to factor that in in any, any future analysis of uh, police brutality incidents. And the other thing I want to bring up is is a uh, article that I'll attach below from uh, Carl Denninger, uh, who incidentally hates me. Um, but Carl Denninger uh, posted the, the relative fatality rates amongst police. And uh, once again, we have this uh, huge police mythology that we need to dispel that uh, the, the police are uh, in constant danger and uh, are constantly moving. So we find out they're not only that they're fat, but they're afraid. Um, there's 126 police deaths in uh, 2014. And uh, we don't have any uh, current figures for uh, police uh, deaths for citizens, although I think the average is about a thousand a year. So once again, we have police deaths at 126, but we have uh, pr uh, probably around a thousand uh, citizens being killed uh, in that same year, and yet we have this mythology that there is a war on cops. And, then one, and uh, to put it in perspective, we have uh, well, putting all uh, law enforcement, local law enforcement, of, of the states altogether, we have about one million police officers countrywide. So uh, the, the deaths are about uh, 12.6 per 100,000. So a very uh, s uh, small rate 
of uh, the possibility that you're going to be shot as a cop or at least killed. Uh, but certainly the, the percentage of uh, citizens who are going to be killed by a cop uh, percentage goes way up. But let's look at relatively uh, the uh, fatality rate amongst cops. Um, they are far behind loggers who have ten times the death rate of police. Uh, fishermen have ten times the death rate of police officers. Pilots have four times the death rate of police officers. Roofers have three times the death rate of police officers. Garbage men have two times the death rate of uh, police officers. The only other uh, th that compare uh, they have about the same or lower uh, deaths is truck drivers and farmers. So uh, it doesn't sound like police work is, is altogether that dangerous and uh, it's obviously not that strenuous uh, because uh, as it turns out um, we have a lot of fat fucks out there who are afraid of something that's not going to happen. I'm a useful idiot. Don't you be one too.